As a teenager, Bill Hamlin was fascinated by the adventures of Marco Polo and the 13th century caravans of explorers, traders, and pilgrims that traversed the Silk Road, the fabled road linking Europe with Asia. As a result of many years of travel, he established Basic Health International Foundation in 2003 to improve the quality of basic health care in remote, high-altitude communities. Last spring, Bill traveled back to the Hunza Valley of northern Pakistan to expand on the Foundation's existing medical work. The Shimshel Health Center was built in collaboration with foreign donors. Staffed by dedicated health workers such as Farm and Ula, the center serves the community year-round. In the brain, there's uh, some cavities where there's fluid. And if the fluid does not drain, then you get a build-up of pressure. And that's why they have to operate and put the drain in. From Shimshal village, Bill and the team hiked into the high summer pastures to assess the health status of the shepherds and provide health care and education. Many of these areas had never been visited by a physician. While basic health care is available in the villages, not so at 5,000 meters. Traditionally, it's mostly women living with their flocks in the summer pastures. They'll make the long trek up in May each year and not return until early October. For six months of the year, they have no access to health care. The final push to the high pasture was rewarded by an enthusiastic greeting from Ty Beebe, a dedicated elder of the summer pasture. Another crisp, sub-zero summer morning. By 5 a.m., the women were already milking their sheep, goats, and yaks. By 8 a.m., the milking was done, and the women headed back to their houses for chai and chapatis and to start the process of making cheese and butter. At 10 a.m., Bill started what would turn into a 12-hour mobile health clinic. 129 over 82. The aim was to complete health assessments on all of the shepherds of the summer pasture. The diet of the shepherds consists mainly of chapatis, cheese, and chai. It lacks protein and many micronutrients. During their stay, they saw no evidence of fruit or vegetable consumption. The large amounts of salty chai being consumed likely contributes to the prevalence of hypertension and heart disease. On special occasions, the shepherds would eat yak, sheep, or goat meat. Zulfi, health administrator and team guide, donated one of his sheep to the community. And as tradition dictates, the sheep was cooked and shared by all. Karakuram Area Development Organization is an indigenous local organization and working for the communities uh, for the last uh, uh, 15, uh, 16 years. We have partnered with uh, Basic Health International. Basic Health International wants to uh, train the local people and hopefully in future the communities with, uh, with uh, this training program would come up with some sustainable solutions so that the people who are there without doctors, they can themselves, you know, help their own communities. What we would like to do is select a community health worker for a Miskar area. Somebody that would be from Miskar Valley, train them in Karachi in a midwife capacity. And then that person selected after finishing training uh, would come back to Miskar Valley. Traveling by foot to these remote villages and pastures has improved the team's understanding of the health issues of its residents. It has allowed them to reflect on more innovative ways such as e-health to connect health services between national, regional, and remote areas. Thanks to its many supporters, Basic Health International continues to improve the health outcomes for the people of the High Karakoram Range and beyond.